The door is open and Let's go. Ça va très bien. C'est une sortie vers, vers le toit. C'est sûr c'est vers le toit. Vanny Oh Vanny, I can see you now. I have, I have new eyes. Freddy Oui Freddy Wesh Goodbye, Gregory. Les escaliers de secours à l'extérieur. Oh Vanny. C'est Vanessa. Confirmation. Deux étoiles. On a eu les premières. Première étoile, deux étoiles, trois étoiles. Est-ce qu'on a eu quatre étoiles Easter egg, easter egg peut-être. Oh. Quoi Quoi Il y a pizza plaques burn to Bon les gars, je suis arrivé. Allez. Hi Vanessa. Would you like a candy?
Bon Freddy Salut mon pote Je pense que les a tous, je pense que c'était 16 hein Si je dis pas de, de conneries je pense que c'était 16 CD. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Attends quoi ah. Ouais, c'est 16. Bah, c'est 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, I suggested you write down exactly what made you so sad and scared. Did you do that? You know, I work with people of all ages, from little kids to the very elderly, and everyone reacts to tragedy differently. Tragedy always leads to a feeling of loss. It's a hole that feels funny, right? Yeah, so if you could process those feelings, How do you think it would affect your fantasies? Would you keep them in the way they are? Ah, okay, c'est une sorte de thérapie comme les autres, on dirait. What are you doing? Oh, you like those? I do too. They smell so sweet, don't they? Apparently, the janitor on this floor has a garden and has been putting bouquets in the offices here for years. Do you ever grow things? No? I work a lot. I know you do. Maybe more than you should. More free time would do you good. Do you have a hobby? No? Perhaps we could find one for you. Like a sport. No? Hmm. I have a craft space in my basement. Maybe I could come up with something you could learn to do. I don't like dark basements. Bizarre Vanessa, bizarre. Mais c'est vrai ce que ce que l'idée d'un dans un certain côté les gars, les caves les, les caves sombres. <rire> Pas ça je veux dire. Je veux dire en fait si si vous avez commencé à travailler parce que peut-être que là où vous êtes en train de en train de se parler, je sais qu'il y en a qui, qui, qui sont quand même à l'âge de, de, de travailler ou d'autres qui vont peut-être commencer à travailler. Je vous le dis les gars. Vous, re, vous chargez pas au max une tâche. Vraiment, faites votre travail comme qui doit être demandé. Et profitez de la fin de soirée pour vous relaxer, respirer. Si vous voulez dessiner parce que vous avez besoin de dessiner, dessinez. Si vous avez besoin de parler avec vos parents ou des amis ou je sais pas quoi, parlez. Si vous avez besoin de jouer, jouez. Rentrez pas chez vous. Et, 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 et effoirez-vous pas, je vais vous le dire en français, allongez-vous pas sur votre canapé, sur votre sofa, sur votre lit en disant vas-y j'ai une grosse journée, je vais dormir. Certes, des fois, oui, vous pouvez le faire, mais dites-vous que vous n'aurez pas eu le sentiment d'enjoie de votre soirée et de votre journée. Prenez tout le temps un moment pour vous, les gars. Comme par exemple, là je, là, je vous parle... On est euh, le 29 euh, janvier et j'ai pas fait de vidéo aujourd'hui parce que j'ai une grosse journée, j'ai envie de relaxer. Tu vois, on a le droit de se faire des petits plaisirs comme ça, les gars. Bon, allez. I'd say make yourself comfortable, but I think you already are. It looks like you could take a nap. That's a nice chair, isn't it? According to these message logs, you've been working pretty late over the last couple of weeks. Or not working. Are you ready to talk about who you're interacting with? From what I can see here, the interaction is getting more serious. Is it distracting you from your work? My work is important. There's a non-disclosure agreement. Okay. Good morning, Vanessa. Well, I can't blame you for looking out the window instead of listening to me. It's a gorgeous day, isn't it? I like the blue sky. Hmm, so do I. Now, let's see what we can get done on this nice sunny day. Okay, here we go. I know part of your job requires you to do online searches. 
But a routine audit of your search history has revealed that you're doing a little private searching on company time. Is that right? I get breaks. That's true. So, on your breaks, it looks like you were shopping for a costume. You purchased some fake fur material. What are you gonna make? What was that? Did you say the costume is a secret? Why is that? I can't talk about this. He said he would always be watching. He could be here or there or anywhere in between. Are you talking about your dad? Have those feelings come up again? I hate sounding like a broken record, but this is something you really need to resolve if you're ever going to be happy. I have! I compartmentalized him. He's locked away. No, that's not what I mean. You can't just ignore an issue. You have to face your memory of the experiences and process them so you can let it go. So you don't get triggered anymore. You can use a sort of self-dialogue to release these things. I don't like doing that. Hmm. Well, okay. We'll get back to that. I'd really like to know something about this costume. What's it for? Interesting. Alors c'est c'est fax, c'est vrai. Attention spoil, je vais le dire. Attention spoil, spoil, spoil du film de du film de FNAF, spoil. Alors Vanessa serait vraiment la fille de William Afton. Mais laquelle Il avait une fille, mais elle s'est fait genre buter par Baby. Enfin, enfermée plutôt. Est-ce que, est que ça serait elle Mais elle s'appelait pas Vanessa, non La fille de William C'est pas genre Eleonore Elisabeth Je pense que c'était Elisabeth ou Eleonore, je sais plus. Alors c'est Fax Et là elle dit peut-être qu'il est là, peut-être qu'il écoute. Là, tout le monde pense qu'elle qu est fou, elle est folle. Non William Afton est, est dans les parages. Il est mort, oui. Mais qui dit qu'il est pas un virus ou il, est, il serait dans la conscience de Vanessa Comment ça devient intéressant? I understand you'll be transferring to a different location soon. I'll be sorry to see you go. I think we've been making progress, don't you? You can request to come back and speak with me more on your own time, though. Did you know that? Our sessions don't have to be company mandated. I have all sorts of clients, Vanessa. I don't just work with corporations, I work with individuals and small groups. I even work in schools. I'm wherever I'm needed. I'm needed somewhere else now. Thank you. Merde, j'ai pas bien lu. C'est pas genre quelqu'un d'autre a besoin de moi. Merci, je sais pas. Merde, j'ai mal lu. Bah c'est ça, c'est étrange. When I'm getting to know a new client, I like to start okay, by finding nouvelle. out directly from them what they like to do. How do you spend all the time you have? Nothing. Well, how do you feel about sports? You like sports? Yeah? No? Oh, I get it. You like to watch them, but not play them. You like being inside, don't you? I get that. Lots of weird stuff outdoors, isn't there? Yeah, I understand. Well, I hate to do this right off the bat, but I've been directed to ask you about this. Apparently, I'm the fourth therapist you've had. And apparently, all three of your former therapists have gone missing. Or, oh. two of them are missing. I don't want to scare you, but I have to tell oh. you that one of them was found dead. That doesn't seem to upset you. Well, then I guess I'll go ahead and tell you that the woman's body was pretty messed up. It looked like it was mangled by machinery. That doesn't bother you either? Hmm. It's all pretty strange, I think. 
I'm not clear on the circumstances. Apparently, the police don't have any evidence. How does all of this make you feel? Maybe I should be watching my back. Yeah, that's funny, isn't it? Okay, shall we move on to something lighter? Elle aurait tué les deux dernières. C'était la quatrième. Moi, j'ai elle tué la première et la deuxième. La troisième, elle, elle s'entendait quand même bien avec. Alors, ça m'étonnerait qu'elle l'aurait tué. À part si, justement, elle l'aurait tué parce qu'il y avait trop d'informations. Alors, elle serait vraiment folle. Elle cherche de l'aide, mais elle ne sait pas pas comment elle-même s'aider dans tout ça et elle trouve le moyen de tuer les les autres. Do you know a place called Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex? Oh. I'll take your silence as a yes. And besides, I know you know it because the technicians who work for Pizza Plex know you. Or rather, I guess it would be better to say that they think they do. They report that they've caught you on camera. Or at least it appears to be you. Nothing to say about that? Well, the techs are convinced that you've hacked into their system many times. Although, I'll admit I don't see any proof here. Seems like they have more of a gut feeling than fact. But apparently, the hacks are causing all kinds of problems. Hmm. <laughs> you get a kick out of that? The idea of techs running around like chickens with their heads cut off? Yeah, that's a funny image, isn't it? But seriously, I have to say that I think it's weird that you'd spend so much time in such a busy, social place. You seem like more of a loner to me. Lots of time by yourself instead of with friends. Lots of time talking to yourself. Right? Is it the electronics you like? I saw in your file that you have developed software programs that talk to you and repeat phrases, right? The program asks you questions and prompts you for responses. It's kind of like your own self-therapy, isn't it? Another way of talking to yourself to work things out, right? When I saw some of your recent encrypted conversation logs, that's what I thought I was looking at. It felt like I was watching someone go back and forth in their own head. But the text found something that's different than that. When I read what they found, At first, I thought I was looking at more examples of you just talking with yourself. Then I realized it was different. When I study this, it sounds like there is someone else responding to you. Who is it? I parle vite. Ah, uh, la la preuve du megapixelplex. Est-ce qu'il paraît? Elle accrait les, les lieux et tout. Plusieurs fois. Ok. I saw some inkblot test results in your file. I like inkblot tests. You want to do one? Yes? Ok. How about this one? What do you see? What? You want to hold it? Okay. You think it's a mask? Come on. It reminds you of a mask? Like a disguise? Yeah, I can see that. You like the idea of being disguised? Disguises let you be sort of invisible, don't they? You can get away with almost anything when you're invisible, can't you? <laughs> yeah, you like that idea, huh? Well, okay, moving on. I have another report we need to talk about. Apparently, the techs were reviewing communications going in and out of this building, and they came across some interesting things. They say you were in communication with someone. Or maybe something pretty strange. What do you think about that? Nothing? Well, the texts say it looked to them like it was an attempt to manipulate you. Or maybe to lure you somewhere. There. That's 
better. On this side of the desk, I can see your eyes. Thing is, when I read the communications, I get something different out of them. I don't think you're being manipulated here. I think you're the one doing the manipulating. No comment? Huh? Okay. Then how about this? I have this still shot the text pulled from the security footage that recorded you in the pizza plex. That's you, isn't it? I know this image is distorted, but I think it looks like you. And you're not alone here. You're talking to someone. Or something. It's hard to tell. What are those things? They almost look like rabbit ears. What? Oh. You find that amusing? Well, I guess it is. Oh. C'est bizarre, on dirait qu'ils essaient de nous faire comprendre qu'il y a deux Vanessa. Deux Vanessa différentes. Comme là, pourquoi là elle parle plus hein Pourquoi dans les autres elle parlait et là elle parle nada Est-ce que ça serait l'autre Vanessa Et elle dit que dans les images de caméra, il y avait quelqu'un qui lui ressemblait. Et là, elle, elle a dit c'est quoi ça des oreilles de lapin. Est-ce que ça serait son costume Est-ce qu'elle parlerait avec son costume Ou est-ce qu'elle parlerait avec le putain d'antagoniste de l'histoire de FNAF qui veut dire William Afton I got another message from the text at the pizza plex. I'm afraid it's about you again. The techs have been struggling to fix some serious glitches with the robots. I'm not sure what exactly is wrong, except that it's making the robots more eerie than entertaining. You like that? Eerie instead of entertaining? Thanks, but it's really not that funny. Apparently, the glitch extended beyond the robots. It went system-wide. It began infecting all the machines, and when the text traced the glitch back to its origin, it led them to you. I'm, I'm not going to pretend to understand everything I'm reading here, but what I get is that the system-wide glitch was like a cascade that was broadcasting a very dangerous message. While the techs were trying to reprogram the system to remove the glitch, the source of the glitch shifted. You'll have to excuse me, I'm not all that familiar with computer programming, so I might get this wrong, but what I understand is that the glitch stopped being a glitch and turned into an intentional set of subroutines that were aimed at creating the same thing the glitch created. Those subroutines seem to have come from you. Can you explain that? Listen, I'm on your side here. Our sessions are just between you and me. The techs can't prove what they think, so you're not in trouble. I just thought you could tell me what you're trying to do. Maybe if we could get to the bottom of that, it could help you. What do you think? Still not talking? All right. Well, then let's do this. Why don't we talk about the research I did in your past, shall we? Some therapists think they should only focus on information they get from their clients, but some therapists, like me, think it's helpful to find out about clients from other sources. Wanna guess what I found out when I looked into the tragedy of your past? All that stuff about your parents? You aren't even gonna look at me? Fine. You can look at the floor all you want. But it won't change the fact that none of what you said in your file about your parents was true. The truth is, you had great parents. A great childhood. Why did you lie? Look at me. Tell me why you lied. You... 
Well, I can understand why you might feel angry about the way I just confronted you. Why don't we come back to this another day? You're shaking your head as though that's not going to happen. Dans l'autre disquette, il disait que c'est pas elle qui se faisait manipuler, mais elle qui manipulait. Et elle parlait à quelqu'un qui dit que depuis le début... Excusez-moi. Qui dit que depuis le début, elle parlerait à la même personne. Est-ce que... Peut-être qu'en en fait, elle parle à différentes personnes qui dit que là, elle parlait évidemment à William Afton, que je sais pas comment elle pourrait parler à William Afton, à son père en fait, qui est mort. Donc peut-être que, je sais pas, à son cadavre, hein. <rire> Et comment Ah, il est mort brûlé, ouais, c'est vrai, William. Mais comment Pas bah, une autre fois. <rire> là, si elle serait manipulée, si ce serait elle la manipulatrice, pourquoi elle aurait menti sur ses parents en disant que... En disant des choses, j'imagine, horribles. Allez. Allez. J'en ai plus. Freddy, on l'a fini. Oh, vos gueules, là. Never, 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 là. Tu peux pas les faire tard, Freddy. T'as réussi à passer Bon, euh, Freddy, on va, on va l'enregistrer tout ça. Le cadeau va s'ouvrir, voilà. C'est le qui a commencé à la les branches. Et maintenant, on passe par ici. Je savais Depuis le début, les gars, il y avait un truc ici. Je pensais qu'il fallait appuyer sur le bouton, mais non Il faut partir par ici Wouh Allez mon gars, d'où tu peux conduire à ce stage là Let's go Allons plus take this map, non casse-toi mon gars Je sais pas comment tu fais pour conduire à ce stage là et comment tes pieds touchent les pédales, mais t'inquiète Come back soon Wouh Gregory. My battery. Gregory, my battery. Freddy. Let's go. Et genre, il se fait recharger aussi facilement que ça avec un moteur. Et ouais mon pote Gregory Deux étoiles, genre c'est la fin deux étoiles ça, genre la fin la moins plausible. <rire> Let's go alors voyons voir, la fin, la première étoile, c'était quoi déjà Ouais, la fin, première étoile, c'est quand il sort à l'extérieur et il se, fait attaquer, il se fait prendre par Vanny. Ça, c'est elle à deux étoiles. Elle a trois étoiles, si je dis pas de conneries. Je pense que c'est elle ou qui brûle toute, non Ou une de Vanny Je sais pas. Il y a plein de fins, il y en a cinq, six, je pense. Tana. 
Est-ce qu'on a quelque chose Oui. Ah, Mr. Hippo The new face for Fazbear Entertainment. Mr. Hippo Bon les gars, merci beaucoup d'avoir regardé cette vidéo sur Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. On se retrouvera très prochainement pour faire euh, les restes de choses qui nous restent à faire, tout simplement. Comme par exemple, réussir à avoir euh, le level 10 avec euh, les cartes. Et je pense que c'est juste ça qu'il nous reste à faire. Et après, euh, bah, les cadeaux aussi, mais je pense qu'on a réussi à avoir tous les cadeaux. Et juste après finir ce jeu avec ce que j'aimerais dire la meilleure fin et la bonne fin. Sur ce, merci beaucoup d'avoir regardé. On se retrouvera très prochainement pour une vidéo ou pour un live. C'était MikoCorp. Allez, ciao les gars. Pour le pain, ouais,